So we've got three boys. One is five, one is three, and one is on the way. He'll be here soon. And every day is sort of an active adventure. We're going to be paying for three children in daycare at the same time. And I can tell you it's not cheap. And that does impact our decisions and what else we buy in the economy, where we go on trips, what else we can spend, if we can afford a larger house. And all of those decisions often hinge on how much we're going to be paying in childcare. You know, one of the first things people told us was get on wait lists and look for childcare. It's not easy. Uh, for our second and now third child, it was more of a discussion of can we find childcare as a part of the discussion of do we want to have another child? Having quality childcare that's reliable and consistent has impacted my career tremendously and our family life. It means that I can be fully present, not only for my husband, my children, but also for my team at work that when I show up to both places, they get the best version of me. It means I can participate in the Anchorage economy, do my work, and still have special time with my family. Woo! Good job, Augie! I think everybody knows that routine really matters for kids. And so one of the things that's been great for our family is that our kids know. They know when breakfast is, when nap time is, when lunch is. They've got consistent teachers that care about them, and they know what they're gonna be learning and what they're gonna be doing. So the demand for childcare in Alaska far exceeds the number of spaces available at centers and at homes throughout the state. This impacts everyone from urban to rural. And beyond that, so many families find that the cost of childcare in the state is just beyond reach for them. When I think uh, mixed delivery, I think options and sort of flexibility for families, right? It means that we don't necessarily have to struggle to figure out mm -hmm and match all the start times and all the end times. Somebody can be in before and after care for uh, kindergarten or for elementary school. Somebody else can be in regular infant care or regular toddler care. And we can figure out the balance of things that works for our family. Child care in Alaska is expensive because it's expensive to have a facility, to pay for utilities here, to pay for food services, to pay for insurance, which is something people don't often think about. All of these costs add up Meanwhile, you have providers trying to make this service available to families at a cost that they can actually bear. And all of those factors have contributed to make it a very challenging situation for families and for teachers who we entrust our most precious resource to.